So what we're now going to do is going to add some motors. So first of all choose place and from the motion folder select a two wire motor, a, a 393 is the larger motor and we're actually going to be using a, a 269 motor which is the smaller motors. So select open what we're going to do is going to bring in two of these motors. Right click and select OK. What we're going to do is we're going to fit these into the right location. Now there are a number of ways of assembling these motors into the right position. If we begin with the front motor here, what we can do is we can get the, the, the center of the circle of this screw part here and locate it to the center here. So let's try that choose constraint, choose this center here and match it to this center here and click OK. Now if we pull this back you'll see that the motor now is located into the right position but not at the right distance. What we do have as well here is a shaft which has an end flat or flat end which we can locate to the inside of the motor to position that correctly. So let's choose Constrain Mate and then rotate this round, look inside the motor. And what we're going to try and do is just locate it to that bottom surface there and select OK. If we now look at what we've achieved, we can see that the motor is now locked into place. The motor still spins, but it's now constrained into the right place, and we can move this piece of metal to correspond to that. What we're now going to do is choose a mate option, the inside edge of this metal. We're going to rotate the motor around, and this is going to fit onto this top surface here. Select OK. And if we look at what we've achieved now, we should have a motor that still spins round, but is now fitted to the correct distance to the edge of the shaft and to the inside of the metal. And our last constraint will be to choose one of the eye mates. Select this bubble here, which is sat on the inside surface of the chassis, and choose to attach that to the top edge of this motor here and that is now locked in place. The wheel will still spin but we now have a motor locked in position. This chassis will now be locked in place because of the locking of the motor onto the shaft and we can now just repeat this process with this motor here. And there we have two moving wheels and the motor is constrained. The metal parts, these two chassis parts, are now in the correct position from one another. So what we can do is we can choose to save this and go yes to all, select OK, 